so hello everyone and today i will take the next 5 minutes to talk about a very very important part for your exam this part is called as mcq skills now i today i thought it will uh, it's like an opportune moment because you have enough time to work on your mcq skills and make a big difference in your rank now uh, you know i have been a product of the mcq generation and i have got a top 5 rank in my pmt exams in my pg entrance exam the only reason was that i was able to use the mcq skills correctly and that is going to be my goal today to talk to you about and i'll give you some important tips the first step the first step of approaching an mcq is first to know about it now many people do the mistake that they straight away jump to guide books question banks and without actually reading the concept first so first goal is concept and that is what i have tried my best to show you in my classes in the dbt session that i always balance the content with the mcq so remember we did not straight away go to the mcq tests we first did the theory the co content and then we went on to the mcqs i also want you to know that somebody as great as richard feynman said that understanding is far more important than memorization i want to point out to you that in every classroom i see some student will say sir uh, you know can i have a uh, pdf can i look at the videos again and again but the actual thing is if you understand it once it will stay with you because memory is stored in a small area called as hippocampus while understanding goes into your interconnections in your brain just like your dvt session where we are doing the mind map edition where we are trying to connect things for you understanding is long lasting okay so can i ask you a question today how many of you can tell me how much was one am strong how much was one am strong in school tell me in the chat box let me know or how many of you can tell me that the why behind momentum what was the law of momentum what is how do you calculate kinetic energy you remember all those from school but anything that you have memorized you would have forgotten it the key is understanding okay so once you've understood then how to approach the mcqs now the first rule of mcq is that people who are topping the exams are no different from you that means you are as good as anybody else to top the exam the only thing is that people who are getting a good rank in the exam are not only getting the questions that they know as right they are also getting the questions that they don't know right they are able to guess it out yes they, that is correct they are able to guess out the answer how the ability to guess lies in your clear understanding if you have a clear understanding of the thing and you approach a question which you do not directly know now what will happen is you need to find a window into the mcq that window will be either in the stem of the question or in any of the choices kisi na kisi ke andar there will be a secret door okay i don't know the question okay i don't know this but i know the choice d read the choice d or oh, that doesn't fit in rule out now the probability from 25% is not 33% i need to play harder find a way to remove one more choices this is the skill that toppers are using the people who are not doing well in the exam are thinking that maybe the toppers know everything but that is not the truth toppers are ruling out ruling out by using something that they know and like making it to solve what they don't know look at the words and i will give you a very important tip that worked for me in most of my exams if i don't understand something i translate into my mother tongue and i try to see how it resonates for example there is a question that has been asked in a previous aims pg entrance exam hibernating myocardium is viable so i don't know this but let me translate hibernation what is hibernation hibernation means like sleeping so right is viable so if somebody is sleeping he is likely to wake up so is viable true so understand so if you are able to translate understand the words it will help you to make a educated guess now i also thought in a mcq exam these are the two demons which affect you one is under thinking over thinking i i want you to know like please try to see if something has been taught to you in the class or something has been taught to you by the teachers directly in dvt and you see that question in the exam what should you do what should you do you should mark your first instinct don't overthink otherwise you will get it wrong if it is a direct question from your class notes from your grand test from your dvt from your cbt mark it in the exam don't overthink it 
ओके डू यू अंडरस्टैंड सो मेनी पीपल डू अ सिली मिस्टेक कि डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन आया एग्जाम में वेन दे विल से सर एम्स में था मुझे लगा पता नहीं कुछ और होगा एंड दे ओवर थिंक इट दे गेट इट रॉन्ग सेकेंड इज अंडर थिंकिंग If it is an indirect question where the choices are confusing, then don't go with first instinct. Then rule out, read every choice carefully. Try to understand what has been asked. Otherwise, the first instinct might fool you in a tricky question. So that is, you know, what I thought I should tell you. Another important point that I wanted to address today in my quick pep talk is that instead of guide books, focus on giving tests. I want you to listen to me today. everybody listen to me see see if you are doing a mcq on a guide book what will happen you are suppose you, uh, the choices are a b c d and you mark it b okay but you are actually thinking ya to b a ya c a ya to b a ya c a but you are not able to you know resist you look down the answer is given down or when you click on the q bank the answer appears you are like ha maine bhi ye socha tha i thought the same but you did not you were thinking b or c but when you saw the answer is b you thought i thought the same and you you know mark it and you move ahead in the real exam you are finally stuck between those two choices again the idea is you have to commit to your answer that is why today is the day when i want you to remember that i am telling you to start giving tests give tests in the test the key is when you mark the answer what happens tell me what happens the answer does not appear the exam answer is with the examiner now you have to complete the test commit your answers and then analyze because no test is complete if you don't analyze after the test my request to you is give as many tests here onwards after every test you will see some percentage improvement in your exam skill and then whatever you do wrong whatever is your mistake utilize the video solutions utilize the video solutions on the e-medicos app after each grand test we have given you video solutions to analyze the test if you use it what will happen you will get how a teacher is approaching those mcq what is the approach of the teachers okay and think like a examiner when i say think like a examiner what i mean is look at the previous year questions look at every line that you're reading as if you were the examiner how you would frame the question trust me when you will start you will make silly questions because you are not as experienced as the examiners are but gradually you will be whenever you are reading your notes instead of reading like no 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 try to convert it into agar question mein aayega to how the question will be framed look at the previous year questions they are given in your e medicos app with video solutions to get a idea on how what has been asked in the past because if you look back at the past then you get the ability to predict the future and you will see the same lines that i have told you today have been said umpteen number of times by toppers on the dam city channel on youtube that it is about simplifying your approach to the mcqs don't overdo it understand things don't rote learn think like a examiner make a educated guess on the exam rule out rule out develop the skill of rule out and then it would also matter how aggressive you are in the exam my suggestion to you is when you are giving your exam and if you find the paper to be a uh, very very say kind of easy paper go aggressive on it because if it is easy for you it is e easy for everybody don't bother too much about the negative marking go aggressive on it if you find the paper to be tough then go slightly defensive okay that is how the you can titrate if you still do not know how to titrate in the next grand test use the aggressive approach and after that give a grand test with a defensive approach and always compare the number of rights that you are getting it is not about the negatives number of negatives you should always compare number of rights that you are getting in the test any long stem question in the exam always read the last line first then the choices then go back to the question you will save your time image based questions always look at the choices first then look at the image because if you only look at the image you will be thinking infinite things but in the exam you need to rule out from those four choices okay in the image based questions look at the choices first then look at the image and don't forget the pyramid of a competitive exam it is about usual topics then applied topics then tough topics many students i see get confused by they are only doing tough things but if you only do tough things you will get only this number of questions right but if you do usual things at least qualified applied a very good rank tough things top rank so this is how the uh, competitive exam is structured and you should be thorough with your usual things 
when i got a top 5 rank in my pmt exam it was because i was thorough with my ncert so usual topics thorough okay so that is my idea that you know class notes dams class notes done usual is done test grand test also done applied also will be done okay cbt is revision dbt multiple revision even the tough you will be able to do that is how you will structure your rank and finally i thought i should leave you with these three messages your past does not define you a whatever has happened in the past sir mera pmt mein acha nahi aaya tha koi baat nahi sir i was not a good student in college koi baat nahi your past does not define you second your school your institute your college does not define you you have the ability to get into any exam do anything possible it is not like what your cohort people around you do not define you okay and you are unique exam is just a gateway to your next step it is not a destination don't look at it as a destination look at it as a a gateway opening next opportunity for you i wish you all all the best keep rocking